takes nine. Hello there YouTube, today we're gonna make this awesomely looking cat wheel, but first a few words from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com, the world's go-to supplier for premium custom circuit boards. Tell us what you need, then let us design and manufacture your PCBs to the highest level. Low print runs and 24-hour turnarounds with assembly starting from just $5. Get an instant quote and join our online community at PCBWay.com. So guys, this is the cat wheel fully assembled and it is huge. I mean, I'm not sure if I have enough space to put this in, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Otherwise, I will just um, put it downstairs or something. But upstairs where my hobby room is, um, this might not fit because I will have to make some space for it. So I'm having difficulties printing all these files by myself. You know, there are many files to print it. So I turned to PCBWay to help me in this. Well, at least uh, partially they can print it out for me and send it to me so that we can try out if, they, if their 3D printing service is on spot. So we're going to upload the file here. Open. And once it's uploaded, I'm going to type in the quantity I want. I want six pieces, submit, and then I want to try out PLA, but you have also resin, nylon, peak, ABS, PC, TPU, PETG, ASA, aluminium, stainless steel, titanium, and tool steel. So we're going for PLA. This just came in and let's open it up. Let's see what's inside. Some foam packaging, yay, and some printed parts. Well, these parts came from PCB Way, and they're sending us these to help us buy this big project, which is nicely packaged, all of them, one by one, which is awesome. I think we have six pieces of these. In total, we need 32 of these. So we're going to print the rest of them by our own printers. Lots of foam, lots of foam. Yeah, all of them are perfectly in black as we wanted it. Yes, nice quality control by PCBWay because they are flawless. You can see on the sides here, they came up really good. And I like the color black that they're using anyways guys let's let's take this away and put them all next to each other two three four five and six six pieces all made by pcb way and now we're gonna start with our own production with ink i'm gonna go for one side in all colors and the other side is going to be black as these ones So guys, for the assembly, we need an M6 bolt by 20 and four washers and a nut, M6 nut. So that's actually what you need to assemble. This is like the, the wheel department. And once the, you have 16 parts, it's a round circle. So what we need is to take one of these M6 bolts and you put in a washer and then you get to one side and you push it inside like this. So there is a washer on, on this end and also you need a washer on the other end. So we push this through the other side of it as well, like this. And then you need another washer and you put the washer on the other side, 
like this so there is a washer now and now we need to put the m6 uh, nut on there i need to turn this a little bit to my side like this so i put the nut on there and i turn it until it's tight and now we need this ln uh, screwdriver and also the nut holder yeah so you hold it on one side here well actually i don't use the right tools for this but basically what you do is you tighten it up this way you tighten it until it's completely tightened just like this so you have a solid base that it looks like a train rail but it's actually the circle of this uh, cat wheel so you make these parts all together like 16 parts so actually what we now have to do is put these together and we have four of them so once you have done all the 16 compartments of this all together you do this another time a 16 time that's the other side of the wheel so for the other side of it we need this middle section now and you put this middle section that you print on a very weird angle which is this is the side that i put on the bed so it, it's a very thin print so you have to have a pretty large brim like this and you put it on there and if you have a, a nicely calibrated print bed it will stay straight it won't fall over well at least that's the case on my my end so now we need to have m6 uh, bolts by 16 and what you basically do is you need to screw hold on where is my ln2 so you need to screw this on one side here just like that and then you put in your washer on the other side here you put it in here and then you take one m6 nut and you screw this onto the back of it and you tighten all these so you have four per midsection so basically you need lots of uh, screws for the midsection more than on these rail sections because you will need 16 so you will have um, 16 32 bolts and four times 32 uh, washers on, on it and also uh, 32 nuts on it so uh, i'm going to share this website where you can get all these nuts and everything because they can be pretty expensive if you get them from the wrong place so guys here you can see this is the bottom section it is two four five six seven parts um, all of them has to be printed separately as you can see um, but it is not it wasn't an easy task for me to print this I had uh, several failed prints because I was using a 0.8 nozzle on the bamboo uh, bamboo x1 carbon and I think the machine isn't really dialed in for it it works perfectly with 0.4 in my opinion but when you go to 0.8 I haven't tried 0.6 but 0.8 is a bit sometimes um, difficult to print with but in the end it did work out as you can see here this section has been the worst part to print and also this other section here has been way to print uh, and this some some dust is collected on there because we have been using it for a while and i also sanded it sanded the wheel itself on the sides where the wheels come on and these are these led uh, wheels when they turn they make these color and as you can see a little bit dusty but these are the three sections in the mid these have been printed by a creality printer creality and the tree v2 have been printed these these also from bamboo labs and these four bits here also bamboo labs because i didn't have enough time to print them so i just put them in two different uh, enders and they came out also really nice this section is like about 800 grams here 800 grams here and two times more 800 grams this was about 600 grams 600 grams and this was about uh, 500 grams i made this one the fullest because everything is connected to this part um, this is an infill uh, a little bit more than the the others this was about 50 percent infill uh, so yeah that's why it's a bit uh, more rigid and better to connect everything to so as you can see everything turns perfectly 
and you will need for this section an uh, inline skate spacer that goes in here. This inline skate spacer goes in here and you just bolt it in and also everything looks sleek. And when you ha this, this is press fitted, so when you print this you have to pre press it inside of each other here. <laughs> and I had a little bit of a problem here, I mean uh, I broke it down a little and I fixed it. It's nicely fixed again, but it looks a little bit off. But other than that, these parts went in really good. Just this, this bigger part was a little bit hassle to fit, press fit it together. But eventually it worked out and this is the section that is holding the cat wheel, as you can see. Also, let's check on the cat wheel from close up. These mid sections, they are being printed around five hours each. So you have 16 of these midsections, five hours each, and this outer holder of the, brim, uh, of the midsection, all of them are being printed in four hours time approximately. Uh, so we have 32 of them, 16 on one side, 16 on the other side, and also this midsection, that's about it. But guys, <laughs> is it worth to make this cat wheel at home? Um, if you like projects, yes, of course it is, but <laughs> it cost me a lot of money and time that's why I'm going to say it might be not for everyone. You might just say, oh, I have like a lot of filament laying around. Fine, you can print it. But it's around 15 to 18 kilograms of filament has been used for this project. It's a lot of money and a lot of print time. I'm glad that I had a Bamboo X1 carbon, so it was printing really fast. And also a Creality printer to back it up. Because, you know, having one just one printer for this kind of a big project because this is like one meter 20 in height like you know if you measure it this side and this is also a big section here i'm i'm still amazed to be able to print something as big as this you know there is no limits in whatever you want to print you can even print a, a small castle where your cats go in but yeah will they use it that's another question because my cats have been on here they have used it for a while but it it's also very hot in, uh, in Europe at the moment. Maybe that's why they don't want to run inside of my room because my um, room gets, tends to get really hot in the summer. So also I want to talk about this midsection parts. This is something I ordered from Amazon. It's supposed to come on here so that it covers uh, this midsection and it's better grip for their feet and nails. But I don't like the, the, the mushiness of it, so I'm going to send this back and order them from uh, AliExpress or something. Anyways, uh, I'm going to set this up on the, the base section and turn it and show you guys how it looks like when it's turning. I'm afraid one, uh, my cats won't go on there at the moment, but you get the idea how it works. And also, the type of cat is really important when you well want this to your cat to be running on. I think a Bengal cat will more prone to be running on it than a British short air. They won't really want to run because they are fairly lazy cats and will uh, sit around. And also the age of the cat is really important. Anyways, guys, let me put it on there. So now the wheel is on here. And as you can see, this is the way it's turning. All the bolts on both sides are here. And as you can see, I made one side in completely full rainbow color and the other side is completely pitch black and this midsection as you can see this is how it goes it's really hard to show everything at once but you get the idea this is how actually the cat wheel works and let's turn it a bit and the sound output of it is fairly good so let me turn it really fast now so we can see how stable it is So guys, I also have to tell you another thing, um, and that is sanding these sides is crucial. This is the sanded bit, so when I run my finger like this over it, it's not supposed to have anything bumpy or something. It's supposed to be smooth. It goes really smooth because this is the side where the wheel actually rests on. If you have like imperfections on this side, it won't be like smooth. It will maybe even break your wheels uh, prematurely. And that's why you need to sand this a bit on all these wheels. But I sanded it uh, after I have assembled the whole thing. It did take me around uh, three, four hours, I think, because I was alone to assemble this. 
but it was a really nice project. I did really enjoy it. I'm just hoping that my cats actually also got on, get onto it and play. It was more of a project than a really useful thing uh, for my cats. But yeah, these are being sold for around uh, 300 US dollars and 350 euros on the internet. Something similar to this, but I think my build is more rigid and it's made with better quality parts really pleased with it and especially the color change when you turn it really fast when the colors they go really fast and i really love it i really like it so anyways guys i hope you like this video about this cat wheel will you make one of these and if you are making one of these share the pictures on my discord so we can compare them and also Hit the thumbs up if you liked the video, hit the thumbs down if you didn't like the video, subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content like this in the future. Bye!